Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I guess we should talk about a little bit that happened in Sam Raimi's Spider-Man run. And also maybe something very funny and very, very just pure coincidence. First, let's talk about some of the heroes that actually were secretly in Spider-Man, but it was never really actually not a duo. Well, technically, there could have been four in all, including Spider-Man, but whatever. So anyways, we'll go with the cut one, the one that was cut, but I wish happened. For those who know, in the original Spider-Man, Hugh Jackman's Wolverine was supposed to be at the end of the movie, somehow in some extent. And of course, the excuse that Fox came up with is they couldn't find his suit, even though it's like, well, pretty sure in the first movie and the second movie of X-Men, his iconic look technically was having an undershirt and jeans and maybe even boots pretty sure you can't lose that right even Hugh Jackman could easily just came up with his own gear walk in do like a minute or so and there you go Wolverine is connected into this universe but that one didn't happen so that sucks the next one was Spider-Man 2 Spider-Man 2, I knew there was two things in Spider-Man 2. Nothing happened in Spider-Man 3 except for lots and lots of crap. But anyways, in Spider-Man 2, two things happened. One, they mentioned Doctor Strange was in the universe. And for those who don't know, which apparently no one really remembers, there was secretly a plan to have a Doctor Strange movie in 2005 or 2006. They were planning on it, and of course it crumbled. Everything that always had Doctor Strange in it crumbled. If you look, the previous movie before the one that we got for the MCU, it was a TV special that was supposed to be a pilot that's supposed to give us a new, an actual Doctor Strange TV show. And of course, you can figure out what happened there. The pilot didn't actually draw an interest, and all it is now is just a TV movie instead of actually having a TV show of its own. But yeah. Doctor Strange technically is in that universe. The second part is that you actually have the Punisher in the universe. It is very, very crazy. But yes, I knew there was something up with the guy in black. He looked very, very suspicious. Like the first two times I watched Spider-Man 2, but eventually I just ignored it. Because there was nothing that came out of it. I mean technically in Punisher Warground they could have done something but they didn't and they recast and I have no idea what happened to the original person so it's really messed up where it's like they based it off the original movie of the Punisher they couldn't get the original guy because of copywriting and stuff good job New Line Cinema so instead they got the stuntman of Punisher so there you go it kind of works they couldn't get the skull but at least he's dressed in all black and it's like sure but it was kind of like a nod that happened, but we didn't really notice it. Truthfully, I I noticed it, but I didn't know what to become of it. Did I watch the Punisher movie? Yes, but I only watched it once. Is it recently, like a few months ago, I watched it two more times, or basically within two years, I watched it two more times. So it's like, yeah, that movie was hard to track down. Heck. Punisher Warzone was hard to track down. I didn't really want to pay the money for it. I kind of want to see it again. And, well, I finally got to. As for the interesting part that people are like, well, superhero movies and the superhero and Spider-Man and Superman are in the same universe. It's like, no, 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 don't get it twisted. And the Spider-Man Raimi run he actually there was comic books so basically technically they made it to where dc is a comic book they had comic books in that universe and that's why they were able to say you're not superman because he had comic books and you can even see in the second movie that when aunt may was moving from the house into the apartment she said oh those comic books you had oh i sold them i gave them away it's like see he had Superman comics, Superman comics, and she sold them. So it's like, yeah, when it comes to Batman, Superman, everyone else, they're comic books in that universe. 
So Superman does not exist in that universe, but he does in comic book form. So don't get it twist, don't get it twisted. He did exist in a comic book form. It's just that we never actually saw the comic books that Peter Parker actually had. But if he really cared about the comic books, he would have actually grabbed them before. But of course, considering his job, his school, and also being Spider-Man, there's no way he could easily remember to get those. And plus, they were kind of safe at Aunt May's place anyways, because he could easily got evicted, which if we got Spider-Man 4, we would have noticed that, yes, he got evicted. So that's basically everything that needs to be told. It would have been cool that Doctor Strange would have been a part of Spider-Man in a way, and they could have actually did some cameo. Who knows what would have happened? Who knows if New Line would actually have not been an idiot and actually allowed. Not to mention, it's kind of crazy how New Line was the reason why Blade got lots of stuff. Blade got three movies. He got a TV show. Spike's an idiot. And then it gets to the point of where it's like, so they, they had Punisher and they had Blade. How in the world did they not actually have a crossover between the two? I mean, why in the world didn't they do have, they didn't have a Blade Punisher movie? I mean, that would have been cool. Like, you know, just have it between the first and second, the second and third movie where you have Punisher looking for a certain man. He's a messed up crime boss. And it turns out the crime boss actually is a vampire. It works. That would have been a nice crossover movie. Just as long as it's written well. The only messed up part is... Would they actually be able to get to? Nah, I'm pretty sure they would have had for all those movies for Punisher. They would have had a new person playing as Punisher each way. It's either that or maybe they'll get the first actor or maybe they got the second actor or the second actor wouldn't have got chosen. And then the person who was in the crossover would have been in the second movie as well. We don't know. Last bit of news for those who don't know. Sam Raimi is being considered to direct Doctor Strange 2 pretty funny spider-man 2 he mentioned dr strange he's directing dr strange 2 who knows if he can secretly put an easter egg that makes people wonder who knows if he actually could do that and plus since it was something of madness who's to say that they won't actually maybe have toby mcguire in there somewhere or spider-man somewhere because he is the director he could put some interesting facts in there something interesting because if they both actually do things it is crazy you know or it could be the fact of the reason why they say dr strange is because maybe the mcu dr strange went into this previous universe of course like i said really real in real time and real here you and me yes dr strange supposed to have had a movie but considering now since it didn't happen that was just another bit of reference but now they could actually make it crazier where it's like he went to another universe by accident and he's like, <laughs> yeah, he just shows up. He does something to a monster. That would be interesting. It's like they go into different universes and he's there for like three seconds or maybe one minute, blast the monster into another portal. And people are like, who are you? And it's like reporters and stuff. And like, who are you? I'm like, I'm Dr. Strange. And it's, and it's like, that's why they know Doctor Strange. That's why it's taken is because holy crap, that would be awesome. And he might have the power to do that. He might. And if he does that, that will blow it wide open to where it's like they're a universe that can be affected and Spider-Verse in reality could actually happen. The actual live action Spider-Man Spider-Verse could happen. Especially since, you know, Venom is trying, actually Morbius, Morbius is actually reaching out and touching a little bit of Spider-Man, the MCU Spider-Man. So it could happen and we'll just have to see what Sam Raimi does. Sam Raimi is just a director, I know, but in a way, I'm pretty sure that almost anyone will actually be crazy enough to be like, yeah, we need to do this. This is going to be very, very funny. We really need to do this. It'll be very unbelievable. People will be shocked and everything. And that's a great idea. Given, I think the bad guy's nightmare, maybe it could happen. Maybe it could actually be an ends credit. I'm not sure, but it would be cool if they're able to throw that in there. But I 
don't know if it's nightmare it might be hard to do it but if it's someone else then yeah i think and plus it's in multiverses right it said something about that so it's like it could actually happen and it could actually have this happen and if it does talk about that will be freaking awesome and now just web up the door of why in the world did he mention dr strange we all know why but now we can actually have a true closing of the door of why did it happen? Why did they say it was taken? And they could just do this simple thing I told them. And there you go. It's pretty easy. Everyone's film. Well, at least one film caster is there by coincidence, you know, or some writer, some, some, you know, reporter, someone with a camera. It's like something like that, you know? heck it could even be peter parker oh my gosh if they actually get peter parker toby mcguire himself is the one who took the photo wow <laughs> just wow <laughs> just wow anyways i'm out what do you guys think about this peace